Imagine that you are a YouTuber. Maybe not just any YouTuber, maybe you're an anime YouTuber, like me. Now, it's time to upload your video. And now you have to make a thumbnail for the video. Now it's time where I collect a lot of images. Now I open Photoshop and I use the pen tool and click, click, drag, click. Now you know the deal. It takes time. It gets even more annoying when I have to do maybe not two, not three, maybe ten different anime characters at the same time because it's time to upload the video and I need a thumbnail. Now removing backgrounds or separating backgrounds as a one-click solution is always going to be a lifesaver. So in this video, we're going to check out the software and see how good it is. And before we start, this video is sponsored by DigiRD, but everything I say and do in this video is going to be on my own. In today's video, we're going to be checking out ARD or DigiRD's image matting software, and we're going to be checking out how good it is and how it can help you remove background from your images, your animes. It could be realistic, it could be cartoons, it could be anime, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is one of the more advanced background removing AIs I've seen. Uh, there are other websites that does it for you and there are other softwares that might work too, but this one is a bit more advanced and you get a lot of cool AI features. I think this is a very cool software that's definitely worth a try. Uh, I'll put all the links in the description for trying it, but before all that, we're going to get into it and we're just going to explain how the software works and how everything is. So when you open the software, this is where you'll be. You had a couple of demo images that you can use to check out and just kind of see how it works. Uh, if you go to the right side, here is where all the options are. Uh, here we have the hardware where you can choose what GPU you want and the AI model, uh, which I will talk about it in a bit. Under that, you have the edit option, uh, which you can use to upscale your edited image. And there are also other little options like flipping your image or to apply all these kind of options to a batch export. Now, we're not going to be using all that a lot, but if you want to, it's definitely an option here. Uh, but of course, the image upscaling option is a very cool option. I do recommend upscaling the image after you have removed the background because otherwise you're just putting more stress for no reason. Because after you remove the background, you can upscale it so you can, well, you only need that part anyway. So on here too, you have AI options that you can use different models depending on the type of image you're using i'll talk about all that in a second and under that you also have the amount of upscale you need which is one times or two times and if you press on the enhance image well it'll enhance the image just like i said you can rotate your image here it's all the basic editing stuff if you go under that here is the ai detection thing now, if I press start here, it's going to take a couple of seconds and it's going to detect what's on the scene. For example, it detected that there is an animal in the scene. And if I press that, well, it'll just outline it so I can remove the background of whatever is selected here. And manual area, which is also another cool feature. So if you have a couple different objects that you want to remove the background from, you can just press the add area button here and you can just select a part and that will also be included as a criteria so if you want to remove the background from also that it'll do that and refinement is also like stuff like after you remove the background and you need to kind of fine tune a little bit more stuff i think refinement is a great option for that and under that, of course, we have the start button, which will start the process and export settings where you can change where you want your files to be. Now here I'm going to select an image, which we'll try with uh, this image. I think um, actually this is kind of basic, but still I'll uh, show you how it works. First of all, all you have to do is you can AI detect here just to see if it works. Now. Here it shows a couple options as human, which is, well, this is a human even though it's a cartoon, 
or an anime and there's also body part which i think now the thing with well using an anime is it's not going to be exactly accurate in the ai detection model because well it is a drawing and sometimes ai might not recognize what it's trying to portray when it comes to removing backgrounds though it's still very good and very accurate and you can even fine tune which i'll get to in a second and if I press the clothing or accessory, it also selects the clothing or accessory. And this is the manual area, which we don't need it here because the AI already detected everything I want in this. So it's not necessary. All I have to do right now is just press the start button and it will do its magic. And as you see, it's done and I get a slider here, which will let me see the difference before and after. Now there are also other features in this, which I'll just show you now. If I press on the right side here, you see a lot of different options and these are very cool. There's a mask option, which will give me just a mask so I can see what it exactly has scanned and taken out and I can see. And the background option, which I can replace it with a green screen if I want or any other image that I want. For example, if I press it here, it just replaces it with this generic ARD or well AI image here, for example. I don't need it here. I can I just need a green screen, for example. I can just select a green screen, which is well perfect for uh, video editing or anything that you may want to do. The blur option is also pretty cool, but uh, now in this background, it's not as noticeable because well, it is kind of a white background, so you can press blur and you can select what type of blur you want. So if I want the subject to be blurred, I can do this, different types of blurs. But if I want the background to be blurred, which I assume is what most people would be looking for, that is an option too, of course, and it looks good. There are also other options like black and white, and uh, now this is kind of a close to white background so it might not look great but here you can grayscale only the subject and you can also make the background colored or vice versa dependingly pixelation is also another option if you want to pixelate like a person in the image this is a great way to do that but of course, I think most people just want a PNG to use on their thumbnails or their edits or whatever it may be, can be anything. So this is a great option for that. Now, what if the AI messes up or what if you need to kind of make slight changes? You got an option for that. On the right side here, uh, you have the razor tool, which you can use to erase. Now, first of all, you need to like set the threshold of how much the eraser can erase so here if i put it on 100 percent i can erase from anywhere see but i don't think most people would want that if you do the threshold properly for example look i can kind of fine tune and only selects like the finer edges so i can kind of get in deep here for example and i can uh, just a threshold here on how much I can delete and for example if I want to delete this I can do that see it's a bit more refined and kind of easier to deal with but here of course everything the AI has done is kind of perfect you can also go the other way around you can draw it back if you want so for example I can just draw everything that was here and for example, if I wanted something that is on this side, I can just draw it and it just comes back. So that's not really an issue. But for most part, AI takes good care of it all. So you don't really have to worry about all that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now let's talk about the AI models. Now, for example, if you're using this bicycle image, you probably want to use something like the Alpha Standard V2, which uh, like under here, it says what it does. For example, the Alpha Refinement, it's better for semi-transparent, better for hair and better blending quality. So I think it's better for more human subjects. 
The Alpha Edge V2 is similar, but it prioritizes edges a bit more. The Edge Clear V2 is, I think, is better for animes because it really prioritizes edges and sharpness, which is kind of what anime needs, right? Unlike, well, a human subject, which can be a bit more softer when it comes to edges, animes don't have that problem. It is very sharp and it's line art, so I think Edge Clear V2 is a clear winner here. But for this bicycle, actually, the best option is Solid Mat, because it is, like it says here, it's better for solid objects such as bags, cars, shoes, buildings, etc. So if I press start here, you can see how well it did the work. It looks pretty much perfect. It did everything like how you would expect it to. You can see the mask here if you want. You can see the background. You can like replace the background if you want that to be the thing. Black and white it, blur it. Now I'll show you how the blur works here. See? That's how good it looks. And you can also pixelate the cycle if you want that to be your thing. The blur can also be, as I said before, can be the other way around. So if you don't want this to be blurred, no, this is a cool aesthetic, isn't it? Okay, you can do all the cool stuff like this, and it's pretty cool. Anyway, that's kind of about it. Just wanted to uh, show off this application, which I think is really great. And it is a very cool uh, background removal image matting software, uh, which can be useful if you're looking for a bit more or an advanced version of something you may have been doing manually on Photoshop or using a website which don't give you as much control. Anyway, that's kind of about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.